exhibition looks at the late kind of human condition and how the boundaries between your work and social life have been kind of slowly eroded over time as a result of the commodification of networks through means of commerce and maybe also through looking at kind of like how DIY applications have also kind of contributed and been the tools have been developed as a result of these kind of platforms as well. So I'm showing two pieces at the New Black exhibition curated by Nora Orku and um, one piece is a physical installation that can be interactive uh, but it's, a, it's an air mattress that has white sheets and it has a Hello, that's uh, custom printed with the word uh, rendering on it. And the piece is, uh, it's kind of a second version of this piece I did. That was a clock that had the word rendering on it. That I did for the Crystal South exhibition, exhibition Kickstarter last year. And when I read Nora's uh, brief uh, story description for the, for the curation show, I thought that the, that the idea of digital labor and 21st century uh, time management really I was thinking about the clock and making this object that's about time. And I kind of wanted to maybe use the clock in some way, but I kind of wanted to reversion it. And then the, the idea, and actually was kind of had a sleepless night and thinking about how I was going to redo this project. And it like, actually the idea did kind of come to me as I was lying in bed that maybe I could put this, the word rendering on this pillowcase. And it functions both as a, you know, the, the idea that you're rendering while you're sleeping, but also the, my, one of the ways I work in 3D animation is I set a render set. To render while I go to bed at night, wake up in the morning and see if it's if it's ready to go. So that's one of the pieces. Um, I should have a work here in uh, Nova's exhibition, uh, the New Black, yeah. which is a kind of real-time pixel sorting. So it, it operates just with one image over and over again, and uh, yeah, sorts pixel randomly somewhere in the image to yeah, basically make the process again part of the artwork and not just the visual output yeah, but also what is happening, what is really happening behind it. Uh, I work with video but um, uh, I mostly generate all the images with analog synthesizer, uh, video feedback, so uh, it's a mix of analog tools and digital tools. So I, as part of this exhibition I supplied the artists with a, a narrative that looked kind of like at the it's aimed, it's aimed at like the, the contemporary condition of living now, I guess. So, not I guess future, but more about like you know how do we live now, and how do we kind of like maybe kind of like fictionalize that and imagine that as well. But I think an awful lot of like living within networks as well. There's an awful lot of kind of imagination occurring, and there's also an awful lot of kind of drive to kind of do new things, try out new things, and, and that kind of stuff as well. So I guess that was kind of my inspiration point with that. And also the story then was kind of like a little bit of a reflection of my own experience being kind of working. The two pieces are kind of, one is positioned right in front of the other, and I was wondering if maybe people were uh, going to lie down on the bed. Nobody did, as far as I know. But um, yeah, I was curious at openings. I'll sit back and see how people are looking at the work. And I've never had a work with uh, people take as many photos of the piece. Um, so they'd, they'd, they'd turn around, they'd see the, they'd whip out a phone and take a picture of the bed. And then they'd look up, and they'd see the swipe, and they'd take a short video of the, 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 the swipe. And they'd just kind of walk away. <laughs> it was a really like you know, interesting experience. Uh, you know, and a lot of my works usually are longer animations or interactive video games. They require at least 10 seconds or 30 seconds of some kind of attention. And this is like, uh, so that was kind of that was interesting. Um, yeah, well, I'm I'm very uh, I I owe a lot to uh, the history of video art for sure. Like I've researched a lot, and it's a big inspiration for me. Uh, although I do aim to create something that would be timeless, that would not reference directly the the, the past, but that would mix so many techniques that it seems like from uh, a time that we can recognize. Yeah. So. As part of this process, I give the speculative scenario or the scenario to them and ask them to kind of respond in, very, in any way that they felt and set us all fit. And as a result then, um, we've kind of had a lot of very, very different uh, intersections in terms of like looking at and unpicking aspects of that narrative and allowing an artist actually taking that as, as points for, for departure for new work as well, which is really interesting. 
much. Um, quite amazing to kind of see as well.